Howdy y'all, this is Regulus Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in the Searing Savannah, where last time we were working on collecting up as much food as possible, and we had poor Moon over here begin um, taking damage, taking one for the team as it were, and she is collecting from the cactuses. And we discovered that to make it worth the amount of damage she has, she has to let them fully grow back before we can collect from them again. So, we're gonna have her jump around to each of the different cactuses we have uh, available for now, and then she's just gonna continue to grab from the cactuses, and hopefully we'll be able to use um, the armored body in our lineages as the time goes on. Also, um, we had Barina over here show, show up. Uh, he spawned in, like, over here somewhere, and, um, we couldn't tell who he was going after, but now we know he's after our little bebe, Bengal, and, um, we were dealing with wildfires. We are very much dealing, dealing with several wildfires, and they don't know how the fires work yet. Um, obviously, he's right beside it. He's like, hey, that's hot. Um, that, that's, a, that's a little hot and warm and, uh, smells and feels little too close for comfort so we are beginning to learn how fire works um, <laughs> on the burning savannah because most of these creatures have never been to a savannah and it has been several several generations from any of them since we went to a savannah so I was thinking they I don't know how long we stayed on the savannah. I think we stayed just long enough to unlock the savannah genes and then booked it. So, we are um, most definitely not not well equipped for the um, fires that come with this area. Um, and then I was sitting there looking like we have we have the mellow marsh from some of our creatures. We have um, the Bear's Legacy and we have Sephira's Swim. But then I was like, where do you, where do um, Nickel and Nicholas look like they came from? Because they are the ones that jumped on in on the way here is my headcanon. And it looks like Nickel looks like he could have come from Sephira's Swim, and Nicholas looks like she could have come from the marsh. <laughs> so, thinking they came from a marsh with more water than we had. So they had to adapt to that. So, I don't know. Uh, backstory on them seems really cool. Okay. Um, other than that, we had their baby, and then we named this little one. It's a cute name. So, let's go ahead and jump in here and get started working on things. I need these two to come back into the everything, because we do need to clear out this area more, hope for the fire not spreading. Though, according to this, it will spread anyway. Um, so we're just situations everywhere. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, and everything, we're good except for that Baryina. So on that note, he's got a little bit of damage. Let's go on ahead and have Ursa. There we go, perfect. She has our most strength, and we've had more Baryinas pop up over here, so I think she's gonna have to stay like in the middle of the tribe. She's definitely owning up to being from Bear's Legacy. We'll have Khan lick his wounds, and we'll let Bengal be the one to pick up our prize for us. Nice. And that put us into the green on food. The only thing we can do technically with the fire is get in it. And, um, I... I, I'm not gonna intervene too much, however, I hope that our creatures have enough sense to not touch the fire. So we're just gonna 
clear these spaces near it out and hope for the best. Just because I know this is going to be a whole situation. So, Nickel is saying he's getting away from it though. Um, let's have you come over and help us with this. Oh, hi. Forgot about that cactus. Um, let's have Moon grab from that cactus. We need to purr for so many creatures. Finn needs to purr again. Bengal needs it, and Moon is still good, but we'll have to see how things go. And then Tossy switched her bushes over there for these ones. <laughs> okay. Um, we have this area cleared out from before, so we don't really need to clear it again. But we will go on ahead and see what we can. I forgot Savannah has a lot of regrowing grass. Which makes some sense. It does make some sense that they would have regrowable grass. Hello, cactus. We couldn't smell you because of the things. I think I'm gonna put arrow. Well, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I hope we find termite mounds. If any of y'all know for sure the savannah has the termite mounds, I just was going with the assumption that it did. I was going with the hope that it did. Um, just so that we would have another food source. Um, so they can see it, they can hear it, they can't smell it, because they, <laughs> they have bad noses. They'd have to be right beside it to smell it, but they can see it, and they're like, um, that's attacking the grass. <laughs> so we're gonna have them keep an eye on it, but scoot away from it. And I think we're gonna have Arrow come this way to help out where he can. He also has a slightly better nose. Um, I'm gonna keep Luna over here so she can tend to these berry bushes. She might actually could help Moon with the damage thing. I'm gonna have Eclipse. I really like Eclipse. I don't want anything to happen to her. So we're definitely gonna keep her as a um, as safe as possible. I don't want her to get hurt. All right, ready to go to the next day. Everyone is good. So let's go. Okay. These ones are not as intense. They're burning down. That one doesn't seem to be doing too bad. That one is going just as good as before. I need to see through the trees because they, they burn underneath the trees too. Ooh. I guess that one rekindled and spread. Okay, so we're doing okay. We're doing okay. They're not attacking us, so yet. There's <laughs> a big yet there. Okay. Let's see. Do we smell anything? The few of us that have noses. I think if the sticky tongue isn't needed, we are going to do the big nose. Just because we really need the ability to smell. Okay. You two are some of my faster creatures. So let's have you come to be scouts. Hello. Especially with that big nose on him, he'll be able to detect things a little bit further out. I'd rather have him as a scout. Of course, go on ahead and do her thing. And then we'll have, we have two of the three by her. Mm 
but she needs to go that way. So, Ursa purr for them too. Moon is just gonna have to wait a minute. terrible sense of smell pretty much everywhere there's one over here does the fire burn through the roots too grab these things and then Finn is gonna jump this direction to help out with all those things clear all this stuff out eclipse grab from this one um, Bengal can grab that Nicole can grab that. Let's see. How far can I get her? Towards over here. This one. And her boys are gonna be sitting there like, well, now what? <laughs> I'm gonna have Eclipse come this direction. I feel like we just need to keep moving, try to find mo more food sources. That's, that's the only thing I can think of to do. Though it does feel like we're having a mass migration. <laughs> Alright, Luna. I don't think it's worth it for Nikwes. There is a root over here. There we go. Alright. The baby. One, two, three. I do still want to clear this area out. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Moon, what are you doing with the world over there? <laughs> there are opportunities over here. one, this one, come this way. We want to get some of this out of here so it won't spread any further. I like how we can still see that one bright as day. Alright. Okay. I think that was everyone. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the next day. Okay, we are surviving decently enough. Glowy sound was our creatures that have damage healing. So let's see, Finn has been reduced down. He's got six da days worth of damage. Moon has six days worth of damage. Bengal only has two, and then Cyber has none. So we might have to breed in more personnels. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Be gingerly taking the the things from her paws. Like, are you sure it's safe? It doesn't look like it hurt a lot when you picked it. Why are you offering me this as food? So, um, I'm trying to think. We're, we're having everyone kind of migrate that direction, but this tree is too much. I think we might have them migrate towards one of these trees and maybe have like a base camp here and have everyone start branching around it to go look for food and have like our main 
ones that are struggling with it in that area. So, let's have you guys continue to clear out what you can. Um, Raj will be fine. this little group of four come around and try to clear out as much of this as they can and we're gonna start sending Luna and Moon this way just so that they can go towards the new space we're gonna have as base camp there's that route so let's start clearing the pathway towards what we're gonna call the base camp and then go from there. But we are still gonna gather from all these bits. Yeah, all these guys seem to be doing okay. He's not on fire, so that's something. Nice to finally get some normal berries out of all this. I'm gonna have Ursa head on this direction. And Khan as well. Where's that root? Um, Finn definitely needs to come up in the front. Eclipse is going to be just happy eager to start up this adventure. Okay. Alright, so she's set up to go ahead and grab that on the next turn. to have only 18 creatures. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Termite mounds! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, those would be nice. Even if they are bad. Okay, that's everyone again. Ooh! Okay. Fairies galore! the fire got put out because of the rain. Oh, thank goodness. That sound when the, the fire went out, that's... that was cool. Oh, thank goodness. We needed this. We needed this so bad. And they can take a look at the ashes and be all like, okay, um, that's destroyed. <laughs> okay. Um, oh goodness, sound, come help him out. Thank goodness. Oh, we needed this so bad. So, so bad. The root right there and the root right there. up enough food that will be 
okay for at least another day. Since we're exploring this direction, I really need her to come that way. Alright. I'm gonna have Ursa come this way some more. And then Khan. Khan seems to be sticking to Ursa. Good bit. Oh. Oh my gosh, I am in love. I'm in love with the sound of the rain to the point I don't even want to turn to the next day. Because we're going to lose it. Oh. Calming sounds of rain. Love it. However, it's only going to be like one day's worth of rain, is that? Dang it, okay. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh. Oh. My heart stopped for a second. <laughs> it was, um, our little wanderer who was having fun collecting the berries. Tossy. Oh. My heart stopped for a second. I was like, wait. I didn't have enough time with them, what? <laughs> I didn't have enough time with them. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, I thought it was one of our one of our elders. Um, Nicole and Nicholas are our elders. I know they have 14 days left, but... Oh, gosh. My heart stopped for a minute. Okay. Well, that, that, was, that was something. And we're getting right back into the heat. Okay. Ooh. Well, now we need to get Luna out of here. Oh gosh. Talk about talk about heart wrenching. Gosh. Dang. Okay. Well. Um. We are. I'm out of time, so we're gonna have to end things out here. We are going to continue to move them this direction. We are doing decent, but that's because the rain hit. So we just, we need more paws collecting in different areas in order to be able to get everything good. Um, I think we need to um, have Kois have a baby or two. I need to do mutations and stuff on her. Um, I'm thinking digging trunk and digging paws. Because she's only getting like what one or two pieces of of root per dig, and if we maximize her um, digging ability, maybe we'll be able to get more per dig. So if it is two per digging paw, then it's with both digging paws and the digging trunk. Let's see. Digging paw is two, and then the digging trunk is three. So even just the one paw with the trunk would be would increase. I don't remember if we get two or one from each root. We'll find out. But anyway, that, that'll just increase our food haul, and then we'll have more food to be able to use, um, which would be very nice. So <laughs> unfortunately, that means I'm getting rid of her her sticky tongue. Dang it. It's okay. It's okay. We have um, other creatures with sticky tongue. We'll be fine. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like. Leave your naming suggestions in the comment section down below. And also, if you have any suggestions on um, survival, like any survival tips for this, <laughs> that if you see something that you're like, oh, maybe that'll help, please, by all means, help where you can. I love getting the suggestion from you guys and I love trying to um, have it we're surviving together. So, anyway. Uh, 
and uh, do please subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.